and do it. I would love to have you come back. Can I ask you one question in closing? I just, of course. one thing that I'm trying to help, like, I, I agree with you so much. Like, we don't need to be afraid of our history. We need to look it in the face. And I use the word, you use the word reconcile. I use the word repent, you know, like, like, yeah, like, we need to accept it and grapple with it and see what it teaches us in a huge part so that we don't perpetuate it, right? When we keep we denying it, we're- the mistakes of the past, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and so so in you're an expert in doing this and I would love to just have you explain to the listeners how you sort of reconcile with your faith. How do you know these things about history and still, like, how do you navigate that with yeah, your leadership in the I've, church? Is that I've, an okay question to I've ask? I've had to think a lot about this, of course, because it is very, very troubling to learn that this happened and that this was committed by members of my church. And also, I we didn't get into this, but years after I started writing Vengeance is Mine, I discovered I was a descendant of a perpetrator. Oh, that's heavy. Um, okay. Yeah. So... As a historian of American history, I'm also incredibly troubled by our history of slavery and the enslavement of Black people. It's it's hideous. Anyone who studies it's hideous. history, it's hideous. I'm deeply troubled by the genocide that we didn't talk about the Native, Battle Creek that was committed massacre. against Native Americans. I'm deeply troubled by continued racism in our country, um, but yet I'm an American and yet I love my country and I will always be an American. And so I, studying the history of my church is no different. There are things about my church's history I'm just appalled by, Na primarily the Mountain Meadows Massacre, um, the racism, I mean, there's so much in, our church's history, our nation's history, and world history that is is really troubling, um, and that I condemn. Um, but it's still my identity. I'm still a Mormon. I'm still an American. I'm still a human. Um, the important thing is just is just just being willing to learn of these things and condemn them and be against them, and then um, just call them out as these things happen and they were wrong and and standing against them today. Like I'm, I stand against um, extremism in all its form. I stand against racism. Um, so that's, that's how I deal with history, all history, if that helps. That's beautiful. So, and, and I think another thing I like to remember is that it's not the whole story. It's part of the story, right. but it's not the whole, nobody, yeah. Nobody exactly. is only their worst characteristics or their best characteristics and no institutions exactly. either. Yeah. I mean, there are so many things about my church that I love, my church's history. There are so many things about our nation's history that are, I mean, even with all of the hideous things that have happened and continue to happen in the United States, it's still a wonderful country. And I'm so grateful for the freedoms that I do have here. Do we have a long way to go and things to change? Of course. And do we continue need to continue to stand up for what is right absolutely and and hopefully continue to make uh changes for the better um so so yeah history is messy and um we just the the main thing is just to not be afraid of history it is what it is don't be afraid of it um and just be willing to learn about it and grapple with it engage with it and be willing to just be sorry for things that were done wrong in the past